I would highly recommend that you do fasting before, during, and after surgery, and especially after some trauma or injury. Why is that? Because fasting creates some interesting effects to help speed up the healing. Number one, we have a spike in ketones. Ketones are anti-inflammatory. They decrease certain things that raise inflammation. Now, what do you have when you have surgery, trauma, injury? You have inflammation, you have pain. Fasting is one of the most powerful things to decrease the pain. And what that's going to do? Decrease the need for medication. The next thing that's going to happen when you fast is it's going to stimulate autophagy. That's a condition where you recycle damaged proteins, as in ligaments, tendons, muscles, after the tr surgery, trauma, or injury. So autophagy is very, very important post-surgery, post-trauma, etc. Also, fasting will increase human growth hormone. And this is everything about growing muscle and growing proteins, but not just muscle, your cartilage, the collagen, the inside of the colon, the skin. So anything that's protein can be improved by having a spike in human growth hormone. There's two surgeries that I had done. One is uh, to my left shoulder and the other one is to my left elbow. My elbow was shattered in about 30 pieces. So they had to do surgery. The problem was, at that point in my life, I really didn't know much about fasting. So I go into surgery. Okay, I had to fast before I went into surgery. So I wasn't adapted to ketosis. I was literally starving to do the surgery. And my blood sugars just crashed. Why? Because I didn't adapt to ketosis. I didn't adapt to fat burning that well. Actually, I didn't adapt at all. I had serious blood sugar issues. And then what they do is they bring you this little jello or crackers. There's no protein. And I remember asking them, I can't eat this. You need to give me some protein. Well, we don't have any protein. I'm like, nothing? They go, nope, that's all we have. And so I, I consumed it. And then my blood sugars really crashed down. So I felt miserable. Now think about this. Carbohydrates, glucose, are glucotoxic. They create more inflammation. They create blood sugar issues. So if you're going to get surgery and you have the ability to prepare for the surgery, and I'm talking about start intermittent fasting, I would highly recommend you do that two weeks before the surgery. That way you're fully adapted to fat burning and you can go into this so smoothly without any problems with your blood sugars. And then I would recommend you do longer fasting right after the surgery. So you do intermittent fasting, like two meals a day before the uh, surgery. And then after you fast for at least 48 hours. I definitely do not agree with those that are recommending carbo loading after the operation because we're going to create more inflammation. It's much better if you do fasting because you get a lot of other benefits. Now, I'm not going to recommend just drinking water when you're fasting. I would recommend taking sea salt, probably a level teaspoon. You can break it up and spread it through the day and mix it in your water. Electrolytes, I think it's going to be very important. Potassium, magnesium, things like that. And then B vitamins, okay, for nutritional yeast. That way, if you had some deficiency going into a fast, it's not going to aggravate things. One more thing that might be helpful is to also take amino acids in a certain blend that can help you in the recovery. There's a certain blend that I recommend, I'm going to put a link down below, that won't turn into sugar or won't create a lot of waste. It has a rate of replacing proteins and repairing things at 99%. Now, if we compare that to eggs, eggs would be like 48%. The rest is either turning into glucose or waste, Steak and fish, I think it's like 38%. And the worst protein to take is whey protein because the great majority of that either turns into glucose or waste. And the last thing I would recommend is to take vitamin D and at least 20,000 I use because vitamin D is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So if we're going to combine fasting with vitamin D, we can actually really drop that inflammation. Learn from our mistakes. Don't do what I did. Fast before you go into surgery and then after, and you're going to be fine. Thanks for watching. 
we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.